My potato pancakes are done. Green beans with shallots and bacon. I've got to still slice up the brisket, but I hope it will be delicious. And to top it all off, I'm loving my strawberry whipped cream cheese cake. Or no, that's what I was gonna call it. I'm gonna call it my strawberry shortcake cake. Hey, hi, I'm Amy in Amy Roloff's Little Kitchen, and today I am making a dinner to have with my kids, Jeremy and Audrey, and Ember and Bodie, and so Chris and I are hosting them, and I'm really looking forward to it. So today, it has been so long since I've made a brisket. I don't have a smoker or anything like that, so I'm gonna try and do this in the oven. Um, so I have put a rub on this brisket, and I did it last night. I put it in the fridge to kind of let this or, you know, rub, soak in, and really try and get that flavor within the brisket. A brisket is, um, you know, it can be a tough meat if you cook it too fast, so it really needs a slow cooking, a rub, maybe a little bit of liquid, but if you want it smoked, it's a dry cook. So that is what I'm doing. I'm gonna put it in the oven. I'm gonna re-rub, put some more rub on the brisket, and I kind of made my homemade barbecue sauce. Basically, it's the seasonings from the rub mixed in with ketchup and a little bit more uh, red wine vinegar. I would have preferred apple cider vinegar, but I did not have that. So I winged it, use red wine. Anyway, I wanna let you know, cause I wrote it down here. The spices that are in this rub is probably about a third cup of brown sugar. I've got uh, you can use paprika, but I used hot Hungarian paprika, so about two tablespoons or more. You can make more or less depending on what you need. Um, I used uh, two tablespoons of smoked paprika. Since I didn't, I'm not cooking it in a smoker. I wanted that smoke flavor, and I might drizzle a little bit of um, uh, liquid smoke on this to kind of, you know, get that more brisket smoke flavor. Anyway, uh, black pepper, kosher salt, about a tablespoon of salt. I did a tablespoon and a half or maybe two tablespoons of garlic powder, tablespoon of onion powder, a little bit of mustard powder, and um, I did not use cayenne powder because I use hot Hungarian. I like spicy meat, but I do not like it that spicy. So that is my rub. I'm gonna put some more of the rub on it again just to make sure I got it all in the crevices. And I love how this has been in the fridge, really soaking this up. And look at that, even some of the juices. So this is gonna be really good, I hope. We shall find out in about four hours. So you really want to get that in there. Make sure you get it in all the crevices. And with that, I'm just going to put some of this barbecue on sauce that I made. Like I said, it's just ketchup. I put a little bit of extra vinegar in it to loosen it up. And I just use the seasonings from the rub. So you're not incorporating a whole lot of new stuff here. It's just enhancing what you've already done. So I've got my oven heated up for to 300. And I'm gonna put this in there for about four hours. This is about a three pound brisket. I'm gonna make sure it's all covered up because you want that moisture, you want that low temperature. And it, be patient, it takes a while to cook. <coughs> and um, so you want some of the moisture and the flavor to stay with the meat and not get evaporated in the oven. So here we go. I think that's all gonna be enough. Oh dear. Wipe my hands off. Oh, that tastes so good. Like I said, it's been a while since I've done a brisket and I'm hoping it will turn out. Just gonna really, I'm gonna seal this in. 
these loops look. <coughs> just enough to get some of the air out. Here, let me see here. I just want to poke an air in there so you don't want it just to be cooking in liquid. You want it to really do the thing. So I got a little bit of liquid smoke in there. I've got my rub mixing with my ketchup. Got the rub on here. Got the barbecue sauce on here. So I'm hoping it's got a lot of flavor. So I will see you later in about four hours. We'll see how it turned out. Anyway, we'll let this go for a while. I think since I'm done with doing the strawberries, I'm gonna get my green beans prepped. I thought it'd be kind of neat to have a little bit of shallots. Um, what else? Oh, a little bit of bacon and kind of mix that in with the green beans. I thought that would be really kind of neat. So I might as well get started on that. Because this will, um, doing the whipped cream will take a few minutes. So I'm gonna cut up a little shallot here. And you know what, Lord willing, I hope I don't start to cry. That's the one thing that I don't always like about onions is that I cry. It kind of burns my eyes. I don't care what I try to do to prevent that, it still happens. I know Chris is somewhere around here. I want him to um, check out the brisket and see if he thinks it's gonna look good. I'm just gonna do some slices here. Just really kind of mince them up. Let's see, oh yeah, it's still got a little ways to go. I think I really need to get myself a better set of knives or get these sharpened. They're not as sharp as I would like them. So if that's the case, I think I've been using them a lot. It's a lot different not being on the farm because I'm so used to my kids just showing up, hopping in at the house and Saying, hey, you got anything for dinner, Mom? <laughs> so I'm trying to get used to um, formally asking them. So yeah, so I'm uh, trying to get used to formally, you know, asking them in a formal way. Hey, come over for dinner. Zach and Tori are on a road trip right now. And, you know, obviously Molly's up in Spokane and Jacob and Isabel are off and about. So I thought, well, Jeremy, this is a perfect time. Beautiful day, beautiful afternoon. Come on over for dinner. Take a break from what you're working on. Okay, my eyes are starting to water now. So if I look like I'm crying, oh, I don't know what it is, but so I got the onions minced up. Let me go wash my hands real quick. Get a piece of paper towel. So, oh, I hate when that happens. Okay, let me get a little bowl. Okay, I'm gonna start up my whipped cream again. It's not quite done. I'm gonna go get my beans. Get all my sweets on one side here, so I don't get all confused. We're gonna put the whipped cream in here. I'll set this aside. I don't know, I always like trimming the ends off of my green beans. I don't know why. It's just kind of a thing. So 
So I'm just gonna kind of um, trim these up. I don't know, maybe I don't have to do all of them. I just said that was for the whipped cream, didn't I? Have to get another bowl. I'm trying to multitask here because Jeremy and Audrey are going to be over here pretty soon. And I know I just don't want to be cooking the whole time while Bodie and Ember are here. Okay, still got a little bit more to go. Okay, well, I am back in Amy Roloff's little kitchen and I've got the bacon going. It just got done, so I'll chop that up for the green beans. I've got the shallots chopped up, so I'm almost done with that. Well, these are the potatoes for my potato pancake. And no, they're not purple potatoes. I think I left them in the air, exposed to the air too long, and they turned brown. But I look at it this way. They are still potatoes. I'm hoping they still taste good. They just may look a little differently. So hopefully that will be the case. Cause if not, I did a boo-boo and I will tell you later on how to keep your potatoes from browning or turning brown because of the air. So anyway, I'll let you know what happens. Well, hi, I'm back in Amy Roloff's little kitchen and guess what? Jeremy, Audrey have arrived along with Ember and Bodhi, so I'm so, so excited. So, my potato pancakes are done. Green beans with shallots and bacon. I've got to still slice up the brisket, but I hope it will be delicious. And to top it all off, I'm loving my strawberry whipped cream cheese cake. Or No, that's what I was going to call it. I'm going to call it my strawberry shortcake cake. So anyway, hopefully they will enjoy it, but I will have fun hanging out with them. So I'll give you a big photo afterwards, but I'm excited. So strawberry shortcake cake, potato pancake, green beans with shallots and bacon, and a brisket with the rub. You can find all of these recipes at amyrolloffslittlekitchen.com or, and I should say, and, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, which will have the video and show the recipe as well. So thank you so much for joining me in Amy Roloff's Little Kitchen. And I hope you enjoy making these in your own kitchen. So see you later. Bye.